Hello everyone, it is 6.41 a.m. It is January 20th, 2021, and today is the officially the first day that I work as a paid EEG technologist. I'm super excited. I'm about to go into the hospital, and I plan to tell you guys all about my day today. One of the difficult parts of working on a new hospital is that I have no idea where I'm going at my clinical site. I knew exactly where everything was, but now I'm totally new, and I gotta figure out where I'm going, guys. So I just finished my first official day as an EEG technologist at a hospital. So this was, eh, nothing too crazy happened. I pretty much just got my badge to work on all the doors and got, got familiar with all the software systems. This hospital's beta testing some new EEG software. So it's gonna have a learning curve to it, but it's fine. It's pretty much similar to everything else. It just takes some time to get used to. Now, tomorrow I have an EEG scheduled for 7.30 a.m., the first one that I'm gonna do. So I watched them do one today just to see how they do it differently than my clinical site that I trained at for the last 12 months. I just wanted to see how it was different. So it's generally the same exact thing, just done slightly different. And so I'm well prepared. Like for example, they would place their eyelids in a little bit different spot to monitor the eye movements, but that's not really the most important thing. The most important thing is to measure the actual brain activity. Eye leads are kind of secondary. Once I got there, my supervisor was telling me how one of their past students named Debbie, she actually follows my videos and she named her mannequin head after me. So I really appreciate that. That's, that's a big honor. That made me realize that my reputation in EEG precedes me. So when I walk into a room, people know who I am before I know who they are. And that's very important, I think, in any business or life. You wanna have your name out there and known because contacts equal contracts and contracts equal revenue. So the more, it's not, it's not who you know. People say it's not what you know, it's who you know. It's not who you know, it's who knows you. If important people know you and know that you have a reputation of being a hard worker, a good worker, and someone who really provides value in everything that they do, you're gonna be able to make money off of that, be able to exchange money for value. Another thing that I found out is that they hired another technologist who I'm gonna to meet tomorrow, um, so I'm excited about that as well. I still have like eight different people that, I'm, that I've yet to meet, so I'm excited about that. I have lots of new people to meet. I've seen a different perspective on how a lab runs how an EEG lab runs. So that's very valuable information as well. So the rest of today's plan is to go home, practice the EEG measuring just so, you know, cause you get a little rusty if you don't do it for over a month. So I'm just gonna practice again, just like how I practiced last night. And once I feel comfortable, I'm gonna go to the gym with my friend Hater and Balaj. We're gonna hit the gym and then hopefully I can go to bed early. This night I went to bed at like 12, 12 a.m. Woke up at like five, 5.30, that's not good. That's actually not good. I used to kind of glorify not getting much sleep and just overworking yourself. But over time, I've learned that your productivity actually decreases if you get not enough sleep. So I have to make it a priority to get enough sleep and make sure that I'm well rested and able to do a quality EEG so I can put my best foot forward to this new hospital that I'm working at. So the shifts that I'm working on right now, they're gonna be 12 hour shifts, which is kind of interesting. It's an interesting idea. So if I work three days a week, 12 hour shifts, I do 36 hours and that's pretty much almost full time. I mean, full time is what, 40 hours a week. And if I'm doing 36 hours, three days, that means I have four days off per week. Do you guys, that doesn't even make sense to me. Usually you're only supposed to have two days off, but four days off? I mean, the 12 hour days don't get me wrong. You're not gonna be doing anything but staying at the hospital all day, but four days off, three days of work, and it, you still almost get pretty much a full-time paycheck. That's something that's interesting that I never really thought of before this, but I'm, I'm excited to see how these 12 hour shifts work out. And if they don't work out, then they said I could always lower it to like 10 hour shifts or something like that. Some things that I realized that were important on any first day of work, you always wanna be on time. More than being on time, you wanna be 15 minutes early. Now, I got that lesson pounded into my head when I played high school baseball. My coach, he made sure that if you weren't 15 minutes early, 
He said you were late. If you were 14 minutes early, you'd be running laps. That, and he got that lesson from, I found out it was a quote from Vince Lombardi. Uh, if you guys watch football, you, you guys know about the Lombardi trophy. That's the trophy that you get when you win the Super Bowl. When I first showed up to the EEG lab, my supervisor said that she had a sixth sense that I would be showing up early, and she was right. I was about four minutes early. So I was 15 minutes early to the hospital. Just like how I said before, you gotta be 15 minutes early or else you're late. I was 15 minutes early to the hospital. That gave me enough time to talk to the information desk, ask them where the EEG department is, and then that allowed, they said, uh, third floor. So I went up to the third floor and then I'm like, uh, I'm lost again. So then I talked to the nurses up there and they were able to direct me to the EEG department and then I was four minutes early. Awesome, right? So then I take my lunch break, do it exactly 30 minutes, I'm back exactly on time, and my supervisor made a comment on how punctual I am, which that is one of the things that I want people to know about me is that I'm always on time, and you can always count on me to be there when I say I'm gonna be there. Make sure you guys are subscribed down below so you stay up to date on my EEG journey. If you're an EEG technologist, smash that like button. You know no one else is out there making videos like this, so make sure you stay up to date on my journey as an EEG technologist, and let me know in the comments what do you guys think? What are you guys working on in EEG? Do you want to learn EEG? It makes pretty good money, over $50,000 a year. Let me know in the comments as well. I can help you guys get started. Only takes one year of college. And that's about it. That's all I got for you guys today. I will see you all on the next video.